Curtis, Mort Krim, John Coughlin, Johnny Morris, and Walter Jacobson's Perspective on the Channel 2 News at 6. Good evening. Massive cutbacks in personnel and in service are planned for Cook County Hospital. That word today from hospital boss Dr. James Houghton, who says that an $18 million deficit is to blame. Mary Laney will have that report. And in Robbins, Illinois, the entire police force is off the job under suspension. While the Robbins Village Board investigates charges against many of the policemen, charges including armed robbery, auto theft, and burglary. Burley Hines covered that story. Also tonight, Attorney General Scott accuses a Chicago firm of fraud for allegedly claiming to be the Better Business Bureau. Harry Porterfield will have a report. Peter Nolan hits the campaign trail for Election 78. Tonight, a look at the Republican primary contest for controller. And Health and Science Editor Roger Field reports on a new drug used in the treatment of epilepsy. And I'm Bob Wallace at a store called Metro Golden Memories. This is a copy of Life magazine that's uh, just about as old as I am. We'll take a look at nostalgia a little later in this newscast. First, our top story at this hour, Cook County Hospital asking the state of Illinois for an emergency transfusion. The hospital needs $10 million in tardy Medicaid payments to keep from making drastic patient service cutbacks. From Clark Gable's square jaw to Fibber McGee's closet, Bob Wallace has the story. The adventures of Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog, Yukon King, as they meet the challenge of the Yukon. If you want to relive moments of a lost youth, visit this place, Metro Golden Memories in the 5900 block of West Irving Park. It is a treasure trove of nostalgia from old radios to recordings of old radio programs. Good evening, Mr. and Mr. North of South America, and all the ships and clippers at sea. Let's go to Brass Flats, London. We now present the exciting, unforgettable radio drama, What Takes Bell. Movie fans are not left out. The days of the silver screen still live here. And there's Riverside, Chicago's premier amusement park for decades. Remember the bobs and parachute jump? When Riverside closed in the late 60s, pictures, tickets, and other memorabilia became collector's items. Metro Golden Memories is owned by Chuck Shaden and Dave Denwood. They started the shop two years ago. Both have been longtime nostalgia buffs, and Shaden does a show every Saturday afternoon on WNIB radio featuring old radio broadcasts. It was only natural they would start a store like this. I found browsing through the store a delight. Among items that caught my eye were a copy of Life magazine that was printed a few months after I was born. It originally sold for 10 cents, it's now worth $1.50. And a giant book featuring 66 of the old Republic Studios serials we used to watch every Saturday afternoon at the local movie theater. It sells for $66, a buck a serial. But what'll be big in the future? There's a big interest in science fiction movies today, Bob. Star Wars and uh, Close Encounters and all of these sort of things like that. And all of the, you know, they're doing a lot of merchandising with it. So all of that merchandising, the merchandise itself will be collectible. You were saying that even TV guides will be collectible someday? Oh, sure, because they represent exactly the hour-by-hour -hour programming on television from 1978. And uh, even though we may today throw that TV guide away, uh, five or ten years from now, you probably pay twice uh, or three times its cover price to get a copy of it, just to look at it and say, oh, yeah, I remember back in 1978 they had this and that. If you're anything like me, you've probably thrown away a fortune over the years in old magazines and other nostalgia items. So a word of advice. Save your Star Wars paraphernalia. It'll be worth some money someday. May the force be with you. This is Bob Wallace at Metro Golden Memories, kind of remembering for Channel 2 News. The, the force showed up in southern Illinois, the snow force, I was going to say. Socked by another major snowstorm, John Coughlin will detail that in a moment. And also, Johnny Morris will have an interview with a man who works in the snow, skier Billy the Kid. And then a little later.